on my way uh, home. We got the truck washed up and we definitely smoked something. But them double humps keep holding up. Pretty happy about that. Always good to be starting the morning off with the old flatbed running in the rain again. Unfortunate part about starting out right here in this, uh, Minnesota is that the traffic in the morning is always just bad. And then when it rains out, it's always worse, yeah. But we're just gonna keep her moving. Get our first load on, we got three loads for today. Then we're going to drop the truck off and get a, get a big add on to the old engine there. I'll show you guys once it's all put together. So stay tuned for that one. But uh, for now, let's go hammer out some mulch. All right, boys, well, we got our first load on. As you guys can see, we're taking our first turn out for the day. times I've been hauling mulch it's been just raining out I got pretty lucky the first time because well it didn't rain out and it was actually pretty decent outside but now it's either humid or raining but <laughs> every time I haul the flat batter out week so I'm gonna get pulled up into our square all right you guys so we're just grabbing our straps right now and winding them all up while we wait for them to come over here and start unloading I always usually start from the back strap just work my way up it's always more fun when you're getting soaking wet doing it.
as you can see, we knocked out the first one and we're headed back for number two. Unloading went good, nice and quick. Well, we made it back for number two. Looking good. All right, guys, well, I'll change the plans. We're going to Detroit Lakes right now. I was kind of wondering how I was going to get all that done, but uh, that's how it's. I'm just going to Detroit Lakes right now. Grabbing a load of lumber coming back. We're going to go get this thing loaded up and get on our way to Detroit Lakes. All right, guys, well, we are here at Quick Trip. I stopped in. I got to grab some fuel, our load all loaded up. Looking good, looking good. So we're gonna get fueled up here. I'm gonna run in and grab a little snack, probably some sushi, and uh, get back on our way to Detroit Lake. All right, well, we got some fuel here. As you can see, we got $699.233 gallons. All right, guys, well, we about made it here to the Menards here in Detroit Lakes. We get unloaded, because we gotta get over to where we're gonna pick up lumber at. Since that's an hour and hour and a half or whatever over there, and they close at nine o'clock. Gonna hurry up, get her unstrapped, and keep on them to get me unloaded right away. Well, it sounds like there's gonna be a change of plans tomorrow. I'm gonna go still drop my truck off and get that worked on and get that taken care of there. Oh, forgot to let her switch into high there. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna grab the company truck and then sounds like my trailer that I had dropped off to get all new lettering put on it is going to be done. So I'm gonna go pick that up and then I am gonna go pick up a load in Melrose, Minnesota, and then deliver same day to Spencer, Wisconsin. another flatbed sitting there already. That sucks. We're gonna get unstrapped while we wait. Gloves are soaked. It's weird because there's like no rain over here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is why I'm spending the weekend on my truck. Getting her cleaned up. I got my strap winder on the other side. One thing you don't ever want to do is get your finger caught between this and the gear. Sad to say I've done that a couple times and it hurts bad. Get whacked in the head by these all the time. Come flying over.
if you guys can see this in the video or not, but we just passed some dude with like a boat dock. I don't know what it was. It looked like a boat dock. And he was so tall, he had squeezed between the stoplights. Like, what? Can't believe that's even legal. Wow. We made it, you guys. 9.03, we pulled in. The train was going through. We're gonna get her backed in and get loaded up. What a good day. I can't believe this all worked out. So we got to back into the hole there and then they just, we'll get you loaded up. You'll see it in the backup camera. So here we go. So the first time I ever backed into this door was when I was a company driver for Ivy Farms. And we actually had a rental truck and I ended up back, I thought you had to back all the way in like the truck and everything. But in all reality, all I had to do was get the trailer in so they could, like, you, as you can see back there maybe, or you will once I get backed in. You just gotta get the trailer in enough so that they can basically load you front to back. So I backed the rental. Well, it doesn't matter that it was a rental, but I backed in but so far in that the truck step scratched on the concrete barrier and actually dented it. So that was one of like the first things I ever kind of really messed up. And yeah, it sucked. Yeah, it's really, they make this barrier so close. And the damn near gotta be perfect back in there. So check out how close this is, you guys. Look at this. Wow. Imagine cracking your fender on that thing. That would suck. But yeah, basically you get close enough, then they just drive right up next to the trailer, load up, and then go back, grab more, and fill her up. We made it and we got loaded up as you can see. We got lucky boys, we got lucky. So we're gonna throw some straps and we're gonna get on our way to the old bed for a little while. Catch a couple Z's. Oh, we'll run them on the inside, why not? Yeah, I don't do this full time, so I don't have the things to go across the top of the bundles, but whatever. Oh, wow, there's light, look at that. Good times. We'll grab our shorter strap. I already threw a long one and I shouldn't have done that. It takes forever to wind those things up when you don't need them. I love strapping loads like this. They're so easy. It's not like the mulch where you strap and then you gotta like hope it doesn't fly off your bundle and then you gotta try to get it out of in between the bundles. And then when you're wrenching it down, you, you gotta wrench and wrench and wrench. 
for this stuff, it's as simple as get it fairly tight when you're putting the straps through the binders, wrench a couple times, and they're tight and ready to go. So one thing you're, when you're doing this kind of stuff, always start from the front of the trailer so you don't run out of binders in the back. Done that a couple too many times. And then you gotta restart because then you, you left one binder up here and now you needed that one extra binder in the back. So you gotta undo every single strap, at least on a trailer like this. There we go. We'll get her figured out, boys. We'll get her figured out. Once I get out of a rhythm, I can't remember what the heck I was doing. Just like so. Throw a little twist in this one. Should do it in all of them so they don't sit there and hum as you're going down the road. Grab our load bar here. Now one thing I don't recommend is you see how the bar is like this. No, when I put it in and tighten it down, I always keep it, I always go up with it, like have it angled like this instead of like down. But sometimes when you're cranking on it and you get the wrong angle, it'll like twist and like it'll jerk you down. So you gotta be really careful when you're doing that. You can bust your teeth out. Yeah. And there you got it. That's a load for you, boys. Looking good. Looking real good. 